Hello and welcome to the West Dover College Schools Talk designed for Year 11 pupils as they move forward with their choices at 16. What, where and how? I'm sure you've got lots of questions about your choices after Year 11 and what West Suffolk College can offer you. This talk today will answer these key questions about pathways, courses, our application process, grades you need and where your course can take you. I'll also cover information about our wraparound support network, transport and how you can find out more. So let's get started. So for those that don't know, West Suffolk College is located in Bury St Edmunds and we're a further educational college offering three out of the four pathways available after Year 11. These are vocational diplomas, T-levels, traineeships and apprenticeships. We are an educational village with three campus sites located very close to each other and not far from Bury Town Centre. Our sixth form campus is home to subject areas such as business, animal care, catering, hairdressing, arts and STEM subjects. Our student support services are based here as well as the college shop and the library. A 10 minute walk across the road you'll find our university and professional development campus. This is where our students studying for their degrees are based. Another 10 to 15 minute walk down the hill you'll find our built environment campus for all our trade and technical trade subjects like painting and decorating, construction skills and brickwork. Studying here you'll get the chance to learn from and work with teachers or what we call course directors who are professionals in their industry. These are staff who have years of experience within their chosen subject area, many of which are still working within their field. We also offer work and industry placements as part of your course, which is like work experience, giving you the chance to put what you are learning in the classroom, workshop, studio and lab into practice. And once you've completed your course, you will have the right qualifications to progress onto higher education and study for a degree at university or go into employment. Or if you haven't done so already, you can apply for an apprenticeship vacancy. Deciding the right pathway starts with doing some research and discovering what options and opportunities are out there for you. A good place to begin is to think about what kind of learner you are, where you thrive and what route is best for you. Do you do well with exams or coursework? Are you a practical learner, better in a classroom environment or you'd rather go and find an employer and get to work with training? You can chat to your in-school careers team to get advice, support and guidance with this. They have access to some fantastic resources which you can use to help support your decision making. There are also some helpful websites available to you, including I Can BA, which is local to Norfolk and Suffolk, and apprenticeships.gov. You can also access our huge range of resources available on our website and social media platforms. We recommend attending as many college and sixth form open events as possible. It's important to find out as much as you can about your chosen subject area and the college in general. Go prepared to ask questions and find out more about the courses available. Most open events require you to book in advance, so head to the college's website for more information. You can keep up to date with our new courses which get added throughout the year by following us on social media or heading to our website and the Find a Course listings page. Whatever your plan A or first choice course or college, ensure you have a backup plan just in case things need to change later in the year. And you have something to fall back on and another option available. So what pathways do we offer? Firstly, we have the vocational diploma route, which is a one subject route focusing all your energy and time on that chosen subject area for the one or two year course you apply for. We offer a huge variety of courses, which I will share with you on the next slide. Next, we have T-levels or technical level route. This pathway was introduced by the government in September 2021 and is a mixture of classroom learning and an industry placement with an employer. Like with vocational diplomas, you choose one subject to focus on. However, T-levels are studied over the two year period. And then we have the apprenticeship route which is different to the other pathways, as it requires you to apply to an employer just like a real job, meaning you get paid a wage whilst doing your training. You, on average, spend approximately four days a week with your employer, learning on the job, and one day a week in college doing your classroom and coursework. 
Here is a list of our vocational diploma and T-level courses. These are not the subjects, but the areas where our subjects are based. We have over 130 different courses available at different levels for our students. Anything from active courses such as dance, sport and leisure, brickwork or professional cookery, creative problem solving like business, engineering or forensic and criminal investigation, animal care, child care and care for adults and children. If you have a creative spark, we have a huge range of art and design courses like photography, games design and animation, as well as hairdressing, barbering and nail technology. Starting this September 2022, we have interior design, styling and decoration, psychology and human behaviour, software development and T-level in construction design, surveying and planning. For those who enjoy the practical elements of learning, try our automotive courses, plumbing and electrical installation or a range of media, film and broadcasting. If you like a busy environment meeting lots of different people, try courses in beauty therapy and makeup artistry, health science and uniformed public services. And lastly, for those technically minded, have a look at digital technologies, esports or electrical music production or music performance courses. Each of our courses require a certain set of GCSE grades, starting from entry level through to level three and T levels. The requirements for each course can vary, so check the subject listings on our website for more information about individual courses. It is important over this coming academic year to focus on all your GCSE subjects and to achieve the very best results that you can. Whatever course you choose to study at college, you will need a good standard of maths and English. Therefore, it is important to secure your maths and English GCSE grade at four or above whilst in year 11. If these grades are not achieved, it is now a government requirement that all students must continue to study these two GCSE subjects alongside their chosen college course. So if you can tick it off now in year 11 and gain those grades, you won't need to continue them at college. And after college, where can our courses take you? You can go to university if you wish after studying at the college. If you complete a level three extended diploma or T-level, you will receive UCAS points points which you need to be able to apply for university. However, our courses also prepare you for the world of work and you'll be able to apply for a job or an apprenticeship. For those wishing to go straight into employment with training, you may be interested in our apprenticeship traineeship pathway. A traineeship is for those who don't quite feel ready to start a full apprenticeship programme. It helps you to get workplace ready and includes classroom support, help with CV writing and a work placement. An apprenticeship is work-based programme for anyone aged 16 and over, allowing you to earn whilst you learn in a work environment. You will work with your employer for approximately four days a week, whether that's a salon, nursery, office space or construction site, and in the classroom at college for approximately one day a week. Apprenticeships are not like vocational diplomas or T-levels. They require you to apply for a vacancy through an employer, just like a normal job. To apply, you'll need to complete an online application or send in your CV, attend an interview, and you may or may not be successful. So make sure you have a backup plan, just in case. Vacancies are listed on our website, as well as the government website, and most vacancies open between March and June, ready to start in September 2023. Our apprenticeship team can support you in looking for the right apprenticeship, connect you with employers and help you to complete application forms and be interview ready. They can also support employers and companies who are looking to take on new apprentices as part of their workforce. You can contact them via phone or email, speak to them at an open event or look at some of their helpful resources on the website. You'll notice that we offer apprenticeships in a range of occupational sectors with some crossover between the subjects offered on the T-level and vocational diploma pathway. For example, we offer apprenticeships in barbering, construction, computing, childcare, health and social care and plumbing. If you are particularly interested in a subject area that has multiple different pathways, be sure to research each route before you apply to get the right one for you. For example, you may apply for a childcare apprenticeship as your plan A and an early years course as your plan B your backup plan. 
our open events this year will take place in October, November and February. They are a perfect opportunity for you to visit us, get a feel for the college, find out about our courses and talk to staff members about your options. Keep an eye on our website for details on how to book a place and any other useful information. We also have online resources available, which you can access throughout the year. We have a 360 virtual campus tour if you'd like to explore our facilities before coming to visit. You can pick up a prospectus, a booklet with really useful information in, or follow us on social media for up-to-date and current news. Making an application to the college is simple. It's a bit like online shopping, where you put your course in the basket and complete a short online application form. West Suffolk College applications open in the autumn term, usually around the beginning of October. And although we don't have a deadline, we do strongly recommend applying sooner rather than later to secure your place for September 2023. To apply, head to our website wsc.ac.uk and check out our range of courses. Here you can find out about the subject you wish to study, what you can expect on the course and where it can take you. Then simply click the red apply online button to start your application. You will need to create a new account or log in to an existing account. Please use a regularly checked email address and memorable password as lots of our admissions communication is done through email. We also advise you use a personal email address like Gmail or Hotmail account and not your school one. Once you've completed your application, adding in your personal details and any specific needs, you'll hit submit. On receipt of your application, we will contact you to gain further information regarding your course choice and career aspirations. You may also be required to attend an interview. From here, you'll receive updates from the admissions team throughout the year, including details about welcome events, enrolment and induction. The admissions team have also created a short step-by-step -step video, how to make an online application, which you can watch before starting your application. This will be available online in October. You are in a fantastic position in Year 11, as you can apply for as many colleges and sixth forms as you want. When you receive your GCSE results in summer 2023, you can accept the college of your choice and withdraw your other applications. Moving to a brand new college can be daunting and overwhelming and you may feel you would benefit from some extra support. So what support is there for you? We have a fantastic wraparound support network designed to help you at any point before, during or after your studies. Personal progress tutors are assigned to each curriculum area and are a first point of call to help with any issues or problems that arise on your course. The student welfare team has a student counsellor and welfare officers on hand for you to talk to. And they are also the team who can organise bursary applications and help with non-course related challenges. We have a 16 to 18 bursary scheme available for students to apply for before they start their course. You will need to be eligible to meet certain criteria. This fund can help with paying for transport, equipment and food whilst at college. Applications to the bursary can be made from spring 2023. Our work placement team offers support and provides details about work and industry placements, which are a mandatory part of the curriculum. We also have a team of careers advisors who offer advice, information and guidance on progression, employment and apprenticeships. And if you're thinking of applying to university after college, you can speak to our progression to higher education advisor. And learning support help meet your needs in and out of the classroom, such as exam adjustments, help with organising your work and understanding your assignments, resources and equipment. How do I travel to college? Like many of our students, you may be catching the bus or train to college each day. A full list of bus and train timetables and locations are available on our website under the Travelling to College page. This helpful page also includes information about how to apply for bus passes and student discounts, like the Endeavour card for buses and the 1617 Rail Saver card for trains. All of our campus sites are only a short distance from local shops and a 10 to 15 minute walk from Berry Town Centre, where you will find the town's main bus stop. There is also a bus stop directly outside our sixth form campus for certain bus routes. We have covered bike shelters on all sites and a pay to park car park once you've passed your test. Be sure to research how you plan to travel to college 
or to your apprenticeship placement each day. It's important to find out about local transport and what options are available to you as part of your plan for your next steps. Our website, wsc.ac.uk, is jam-packed full of lots of useful information about courses, current news and student life. If you can't find what you're looking for, you can also drop us a call or an email or send us a message via our social media platforms. Check out our events page for info about our open events this year and any other extra events we will be running. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you have found out lots of new information about the college and I've answered to those key questions from the start. Have a great rest of the day and we'll see you all very soon.